hey guys uh, so in this video i'm going to show you five easy tips that will help you improve your workflow work faster and make your life easier okay so the tips i'm going to show you here are for beginners but there might be some things that you may not know so feel free to stick around and yeah the five tips that we learn in this video are shortcut icons custom layout object mode Octane Live DB and lastly solo node and UV transform. I've put custom timestamps for each one of them so you can easily skip to whichever one you like and I've also made a free Gumroad product containing my own custom Cinema 4D layouts that you can use and that will be linked below. Okay so the uh, first one is shortcut icons. Now this one is very helpful probably the most helpful one. Uh, so it's basically these icons over here and if you're an Octane user, you have to, if you want to add a light source, you have to go uh, over here and do lights and then do, you can choose your light source over here. So there's a quicker way to do this and I'll show you how. So you go to window, you go to customization and you click on customize palettes. Then you can click on new palette. And this is where you start adding your icons. So let's search for Octane. Now we have many options here, I'm going to add Octane Camera. So you just drag it and drop it over here. Same for all of these. So you can add Node Editor, you can add Settings. Now if you see Settings, uh, Settings is already over here, so you don't really need this. So how do you delete one? You just double click and it's gone. So now let's add an Icon Separator. So you can add this over here. And then let's make a section for lighting so let's choose octane daylight over here let's go for area light we can go for spotlight targeted area light now well, this one's up to you you can add any whichever one you want we can add another icon separate and we can add a section for fog volumes and scatters so let's add octane scatter And then we can add, uh, it's over here, fog volume, and then VDB volume. Let's make another section for materials. So there's, we have diffuse over here. And we can out, add glossy, metallic. Uh, you can also add specular even universal so yeah, you have we've made a new palette here now now what do we do with it now we're gonna drag it to anywhere you can drag it you can place it over here if you want it's over here you can go ahead and place it you can just click this area and then you can drag it over here I, I usually keep it over here now if you can see you can see the icons are way too big so we can right click and then we can choose the icon size so I think the best one is large icons and yeah there you go so now let's test these icons out to see if they are working. So let's click on camera. It's there. We can click on node and we have node editor here. And then we can click on area light. We, we have the area lights. Then we have scatter, fog, VDB, and we have our materials over here. So yeah, that's how you use shortcuts. It's very quick and it's very helpful. Okay, so the next one is uh, custom layouts. It helps you to navigate a lot quicker and a lot easier. And once you so once you open up C4D, this is your basic interface, and you can customize it. And I'm gonna show you how. So let's open Octane for now. We can open. We can drag. If you see, there's if every single window has these three lines on the top left. So you can drag it, and you can drop it to anywhere you want. It can be over here. Or over here anywhere and then let's go to, let's open a few more windows so that we can choose our node editor and we can also choose settings now uh, if it's a bit of a hassle to uh, move it around whenever you're using whenever you're making something you know minimize it open it again so one thing you can do you can these three lines again you can drop drag and drop it to another one for example this one and now it's over here it's next to layers and attributes now i now this was the tabs are open towards the left uh, towards the right side so 
I like I personally like them on the top side so you can right click it click on tabs and you can choose top now it's on the top you can do the same for this one right click tabs and top now it's over here now let's drag and drop our settings over here same as the other one yeah now our settings are over here now I want the objects to be separate from these so we can drag it and we can drop it here now these two are separate so we have both options over here now it's up to you you can add any window you want it's your own preference and let's add another one for example let's add a timeline sheet and we can drop it maybe over here so you have the timeline over here whenever you're animating and you need to show you change and uh, something you can do it from here and yeah it's up to you now you can add many windows as any as many windows as you want and yeah i have a few over here that i've made uh for example this one i have a, I have a few of them for this one you can it's up to you now once you've made your own layout uh you can save them how do you save them so you go to window you customization and then you can save your layout and yeah that's how you save it you can save let's say I save i'm not gonna save it but you can save it and then that's you can you can whenever you want to load it you can go over here and then you can choose any one you want so you can make many of them and save them and you can choose between any of them now the other thing is if you open up c4d and you want a, a specific your own custom layout to open up as soon as you start c4d uh, all you have to do is you go to window customization and then you can save as startup layout so now whenever you open c4d your custom interface will be there you don't have to choose from here so yeah that's how you customize your own uh, interface also i've made a few layouts myself in the past few years that i use and if you want to use my layouts uh, i've made a gumroad uh, product and it has a few of my uh, layouts like this one and this one and a few more and you guys can uh, download it for free when you're working with rigged 3d models you can scale them up and scale them down and when you do so this is what happens yeah that looks pretty messed up so yeah there's one way of doing that fixing it which is over here you go to its coordinates over here and then you can change the size and scale over here but that takes a lot of time and there's a quicker way of doing it which is object mode so you go over here and you select object mode and then from here when you scale it it scales up normally without ruining the model so yeah that's one way of doing it you can also use this method with vdbs so for example if you scale vdbs uh, you can see in the viewport the box is moving it's scaling up and down but nothing's happening to the actual cloud in the live viewer so again same solution you go to object mode and when you scale it up you can see the cloud is also the vdb is also scaling up so yeah, that's how you use object mode saves a lot of time you don't have to work with all these coordinates and yeah it's pretty easy Whenever you make new materials in Cinema 4D and Optane, or if there are specific materials that you use very often, it can be time consuming to make them again and again whenever you start a new project. So there's an easier solution to load materials pretty quick, which is known as LiveDB. It is located li right under the Live Viewer and under Materials. So you can see over here, you need to click on Open LiveDB. So it takes a few seconds to load it. So once it's loaded, this is where you save all your materials. So let's save this gray one for now. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over here. And once it's loaded, you just need to find it. And yeah, now it's here. So now you want to add this material to your scene. How do you do that? It's easy. You just click on it and then you hit download. As you can see, it's been downloaded, it's been added to your scene. You can drag and drop it to any object you want. And yeah, that's how you use LiveDB. It's pretty effortless and time consuming. 
so whenever you're having like a situation where uh, you're not happy with where the imperfections are placed or you know you want to maybe scale it up a bit and you know you want to move it around and but you don't know how to do that so I'm going to show you a way or you can you know go ahead and click on node editor and then for now I'm right now I'm going to work on this one right here so this is the texture I'm using so let's do it for its roughness map so let's click on the roughness map and then click on UV transform and from here we can we can scale it up and down we can also rotate it we can move it around now one thing you must have noticed is that the imperfections are so subtle that you can't really tell where they're placed right now so one way to fix that and one way to tell is that you can right click on the image texture and you can click on solo node that way you can see now you can transform you can click on transform and move it around one more thing you must have noticed is the image texture is very stretched and there's one way to fix that you can go and click on the material tag then go to attributes and then you can change the projection from UVW mapping to cubic and that should fix it yep it's fixed it now you can go back to the node editor you transform and then you can scale, scale it around a bit till you're happy you're happy with it now I think that's fine yep that looks good now let's do the same for this one which is the bump map uh, this one is like basically the scratches so let's do it for this one we can disable we're gonna disable this one first and let's enable it for this one and now let's click on UV transform and yeah we're gonna scale it maybe a bit up then move it that looks good I think I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so we can disable it now and yeah that's how you use solo node and UV transform so those were the five easy cinema 4d and Optane tips for faster workflow hope you guys found this video helpful and if you have any other tips feel free to share them in the comments and yeah that's all have a great day and keep creating